out with a list of 10 reasons that some people will never retire. The big one, kind of obvious, they're not saving for retirement. Or if they did not start, if they did, they didn't start early enough in their career. Now another one, you save for your kid's college instead of for your retirement. Joining us this morning to talk more about it is certified financial planner Joe Burt. As always, great to see morning, you. Amy. Happy Monday. Same to you. Okay, so the first one seems obvious. If you're not saving for retirement, it's kind of hard to retire. Uh, yeah, because when you retire, if you don't save for retirement, all you have is Social Security. And if you're living on Social Security, you're living beneath the poverty level. Social Security was never designed to be a retirement plan. It's really a safety net. So right. you got to save for retirement. Yeah, and safety net, it doesn't get you very far. It's not a lot no, of money. No, not at all. Okay, no. so one of the things that I think is shocking here is that paying for your kid's education is taking yeah. away from your retirement. A lot of people do this. They're like, oh, I want to make sure my kids have a great right. future, but they don't worry about their own future. Exactly. Unless you're very wealthy, if you start taking from your retirement account to pay for their education, or you don't put in your retirement account because you're going to pay for their education, you're going to be in se severe trouble and you'll end up with your kids in your basement. So what or are you'll your be in your kids' basement. <laughs> Which is say. not good either. Right, so right. what are your options? What should you be doing? Well, like for college education, look at loans. The Stafford loan, Perkin loan, the federal loans, because those are usually less expensive. Look for look for tuition uh, uh, breaks, you know, scholarships. There's a lot of stuff that's out there that parents never, ever attack. Yeah. Go to your career office, your guidance office, I should say, and look at that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, and, or go to community college to start with. Right, absolutely. Yes. A lot yes. of people do that. They do the first two years there, exactly. and then you can always transfer in exactly. somewhere. Exactly. It's a lot less expensive. Yep. Uh, one reason uh, this happens as well, people cash out their retirement when they switch to another job. Yeah. In 2013, 35% of people that switch jobs cashed out their retirement plans. Average balance is about $16,000. $16, if people found, uh, think that's found money, you know, I'm going to use this money now and take a vacation or buy that stuff I always want I'll leave it I won't leave it in my uh, company's plan big big mistake what should you do with that money when you start a new job if you if the balance is over five thousand dollars you can leave it in the plan they can't throw you out or you can roll it into your new employer's plan at no no tax consequences or you can roll it into an IRA that's the most important thing keep that keep that safety net or the, I should say that that uh, 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 money that you put together in your retirement plan, yeah. keep it together, don't cash it out. Okay, and Joe, you also say, looking forward, one reason people will not retire is they have not planned to maximize their Social Security benefits. How do yeah. you do that? Well, most people grab Social Security the first chance they get at age 62, okay. and that's a big mistake. If you, if you don't need the Social Security income today, wait until your full retirement age, which is 66 for most people, moving up to 67, or better yet, if you can wait to age 70, because every year that you wait beyond your full retirement age, you get another 8% per year guaranteed increase in that benefit. Now, if you're terminally ill or you have health issues, right. then you want to grab it early because you're not going to be getting it for very long. But many people mistakenly grab Social Security as soon as they can get it, and they, they really penalize themselves for their lifetime. That's the guaranteed money. That's your guaranteed source of income, and you want to get as much as you can. All right, but if you're not in a 401k, go do it right now. If Don't you're wait. not in your 401k, at least do an IRA, and you have up until this year, up until April 18th, because they st they stretch the tax tax return day from April 15th to April 18th this okay. year to at least do an IRA. Lucky us. There you go. You got three extra days <laughs> to pay. <laughs> Joe <Bert>. Extra weekend. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. A lot of people will be doing taxes That's that weekend. For sure. It's going to be busy. That's for sure. Thank you. Always great you're to welcome. see you, Joe Burt. Where can they find you? Just Google me, Joe Burt. Two words: B E R T. All right, great. Thanks, Amy. All right.